Okay, um, I'm going to make a quick video. I was going through the motions anyway. I figured I'd do this video to help people out, whoever needed the help. If you have an LG G2, uh, I believe it's the D801, the D800, and D803, these steps will be identical. I believe the D802 is a little bit different. Don't quote me on that. That's just something I think I know. So you may want to do your research. Um, I'm also doing this with my webcam, so I apologize for the audio and the video quality uh, in advance. Um, but I just want to get through this, and hopefully the little that you see here can help you with your repair if need be. Um, so if your screen looks something like this, slightly damaged, you probably want to get that replaced. Um, I ordered mine, came in within a couple of days, and I'm now looking at a shiny new screen. So what you're going to need, you're going to need a pry tool, plastic, Not don't use a metal, it will damage your device. You want to use, this is maybe optional, um, it's kind of like a guitar pick, um, optional, something similar to this, you may need to help with prying some of the uh, ribbons and bits in there. There's also this tool, which it comes in handy as well, and then you also need a tiny Phillips. So my screen I replaced it however um, I did not know I needed adhesive for the screen after the replacement so I found out the hard way so I had to wait a couple of days this guy shows up in the mail and I'm going to be applying this today um, so let's get right to it um, of course you want to make sure you power off your device beforehand um, I've got a little decal in here so it may look a little different than yours um, a good tip is to start at one of the corners and kind of pry your way around and also uh, it wasn't clear in some of the videos that I saw but what you want to do is pry above the silver uh, lining that's going around so you want to remove just the back plastic alone uh, so that's where you want to stick your tool Okay, so we just get our tool right in there and we wrap it around. You can hear the uh, pins snapping. So that is releasing from the body. Just be a little gentle when you're going through with it. Run it down the sides, up along the corners. Another tip, <clears throat> make sure you run your tool around uh, all four perimeters or the one perimeter, all four sides, because um, it doesn't just snap right off. There are some clips on each side that you need to clear with this tool here. Okay, so now when you have all four edges removed, it pops right off. There aren't any uh, ribbons or anything else attached, so don't worry about um, damaging that. You can just snap it right off. And once that's off, um, like, I, like I said, I was already midway through my uh, re-repair, and I said, you know what, let me just do a video for this. So um, there are some screws that I removed, and I did not put them in just to remove them for the sake of the video. But on the upper part of your phone, uh, in the video, its uh, orientation is upside down. But um, the upper part of your phone, near the power and volume rocker, um, there are seven screws that you need to remove. So there are a couple along the bottom. 
a few along the top, and there is one black one right in here. The rest are silver, there's one black one. Make sure you uh, set that one aside and reinsert it at the same place it came out. Um, so same deal with this one. Mine is a little loose because you know I was already removing it. Um, but you want to use the same tool, either this one or this, whatever uh, works better for you. You run it along the side. I figure for me, uh, usually it works best if I kind of pry up a little bit here. Take my guitar pick for some leverage and continue to work around and it just pops right off. So you set that aside. And once you have this, um, there's also on the bottom of the phone, there's uh, an additional four screws you need to remove. There's one, two, three, and four. I'm sorry, five. Something like that. There's a number of screws you to remove. They're easy to find. Once you have them um, removed, you can remove this bottom piece. Now up top, there's a good number of uh, uh, ribbons that are placed to the motherboard and daughter boards and so on and so forth. So use your tool. Just pop them out gently. There's uh, several of them. I'm not sure how many. I haven't counted. And I'm just trying to get this quickly back online because I'm expecting some communication to come through. Um, but of course, take your time when you're doing it, especially if it's your first time. Um, just go through, remove all of them that you see there. Um, there is a little bit of tape on this one. Um, it isn't attached to anything else, so you can remove that. When I was first, the first time for me, it was a little worried, but no worries there. It's, it's just tape. So you take these all off, including the one for the uh, camera sensor or camera. Um, I think that looks good. There's one here for the battery. This is probably the most tricky one of the bunch. And I forget the order of how I removed it. it maybe it can re be removed later, but I'll go ahead and try to get it out now. Okay, so they're all removed. And what you need to do is um, these two sides here, I'm not sure what you want to call them, but there's attached to these two ribbons there are two little uh, PCP boards now these are fixed adhesively to the board underneath so you need to be careful when you're removing the two that you're not bending the board too much um, just go on in there and pry that up and for me it may be a little easier or it may look a little easier in the video than it will be for you that's because mine has been removed um, previously but you just get in there kind of gently pull up a little bit get some leverage bada bing bada boom work down the sides There's a little bit of tape there you can remove that tape on both ends but be careful on this side the left hand side of the phone there is a little ribbon that attaches to another chip down here and in the tutorial I was watching this chip popped out for the other guy but for me I had a little bit of trouble so just be careful when you're pulling this out that you don't damage this cable um, it doesn't need to actually come out all of the way if you can kind of work around it um, as I did uh, so you come down here there's another uh, daughter board this needs to be removed as well there's a couple of clips here to remove there you go. There's also a microphone right in there and it's kind of uh, seated interestingly. So be careful with that and you don't lose the you don't lose your mic. Uh, so there's a couple antennas that are pinned down right in this area as well. Go ahead and get down in there. There's one and there's two. Okay, so one and two, out with the old, and let's see, so now this part has got to come out, and it's a little tricky, that part I do remember, just a little tricky. Yeah, up here has to come out too, everything's got to come out to replace this board. Is kind of a hassle to replace the uh, not the board. I'm sorry, the the screen. It is a bit of a hassle. 
just a little bit. So this guy comes out, set him aside. And so now we're looking at the bare essentials of your phone, which is pretty much a frame, a battery, and the screen. So once we get this out, there's a few cables underneath it uh, for the video and power for your screen that we need to get to. This is making me a little uncomfortable. It's a lot of bend. It's a lot of bend going on there. Don't really recall where I got leverage the initial time to pull it out, and it actually it looks like I can do it from right here. Okay, this is not fun. Um, so you got to come down, follow this ribbon down a little bit, and this piece will come right up. You don't have to set it too far, but also, of course, be mindful of this side if you do not rem remove that board that's right in there. <coughs> Excuse me. So on the bottom piece, we have a ribbon here. This is for the uh, screen. It needs to come through this little slot. Up above, we have uh, this one here, I believe there was a second and or a third, um, but you'll see that right as the screen falls out of the bottom of the phone. So up top, we have one, one single ribbon, slides right out. On the bottom, there's another ribbon there. So be careful with those. Whoops. There's more to it. So all of this here is also for the screen. So all that folds right down and slips right out. All right, so there's your screen and your digitizer. And here is everything else. So if you are replacing your screen, don't do the same thing I did. Make sure you pick up some adhesive fix it along the edges, place the screen inside, but of course test the screen before you do the adhesive. I tested mine, mine works, so I'm good to go. But make sure you do some testing on this before you fully assemble your phone, just to avoid any further issues. And so putting the phone back together is pretty much just doing the reverse of what you did to take it apart. It's pretty straightforward. I did it one time and my second time I had it down by memory it was really not difficult at all it was just a little time consuming but we are moving right along so if you have any questions anything else uh, maybe some tips on how I can do a better video next time 
something of the sort, just uh, please leave me a comment and uh, let me know. Any questions, something was unclear, um, whatever, you know, I'll, I'll do my best to, uh, to get back to you and uh, address some concerns. Thanks for watching.